वेलकम टू वंडर्स लेट सब्सक्राइब टू आर टेलीग्राम चैनल गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन टू अपडेट्स एंड स्टडी मटेरियल्स टॉपिक फॉर टुडेज क्विज इज 27th of April 2019 current affairs part 1 question number 1 Belmont forum sometimes seen in the news was established in option A 2007 option B 2009 option C 2011 option D 2013 The correct answer is option B 2009 it's a partnership of funding organizations international science councils and regional consortia it strives to make opportunities for interested supporting organizations it is a group of major and emerging funders of global environmental change research question number 2 united states recently placed india on its for alleged violations of intellectual property rights option a priority watch list option b prioritized watch list option c green watch list option d red watch list the correct answer is option a priority watch list While India has been placed on the priority watch list, Pakistan is on the watch list. The office of the USTR identified 11 countries, including India, in its priority watch list. Question number 3. World Intellectual Property Day is observed annually on Option A, the 25th of April. Option B, the 26th of April. Option C, the 27th of April. Option D the 28th of April The correct answer is option B the 26th of April it aims to increase people's awareness and understanding of intellectual property WIPO is a specialized agency of the United Nations Question number 4 is the first central bank in the asia pacific region to begin an explicit interest rate easing cycle option a rbi option b bank of japan option c bank indonesia option d people's bank of china the correct answer is option a rbi according to fitch ratings RBI became the first central bank in the Asia Pacific region to begin an explicit interest rate easing cycle. Question number 5. Has recently awarded Derek C. Lalchand Hima Compassionate Kid Award for inspiring other children. Option A. Neeti Aayog. Option B. Pita India. Option C. Akshay Patra. Option D. Amnesty International. The correct answer is option B Pita India in recognition of his acts of compassion that has made headlines across India and even abroad Pita India has recently awarded Derek C Lalchand Hima Compassionate Kid Award He is from Mizoram He tried to save a dead chicken Question number 6 Who recused himself from the justice S option A Bob they led in house inquiry committee examining allegations of sexual harassment leveled against the CJI A Justice N V Ramna option B Justice Sindhu Malhotra option C Justice Prakash Dev option D Justice Tulsi Dev The correct answer is option A Bob they led in house inquiry committee examining allegations of sexual harassment leveled against the CJI A Justice N V Ramna in keeping with the highest standards of judicial propriety Justice N V Ramna recused himself from the Justice S A Bob they led in house inquiry committee it is worth mentioning that the committee is examining allegations of sexual harassment leveled against the CJI question number 7 recently A telepresence facility in has been inaugurated 
making it the first high court in the country to have high-tech video teleconferencing tools for conducting judicial proceedings. Option A. Punjab and Haryana HC. Option B. Ilahabad HC. Option C. Madras HC. Option D. Delhi HC. The correct answer is Option D. Delhi HC. For sharing any document with the participants, the telepresence room is fitted with a camera. It is worth mentioning that Delhi High Court has been a pioneer in computerization projects for the judiciary. Question number 8. Former Army Chief Dalbir Singh Suhag has been appointed as India's next High Commissioner to Option A. Mauritius. Option B. Seychelles. Option C. Zimbabwe. Option D. Ukraine. The correct answer is Option B. Seychelles. Incidentally, when India conducted surgical raids in 2016, Dalbir Singh Suhag was the chief of army staff. It is worth mentioning that in a bid to increase its presence in the Indian Ocean, India is looking to build a Coast Guard facility in Seychelles or Somshuan Island. Question number 9. The Indian Council of Medical Research, ICMR, has launched the Mera India recently. Expand Mera. Option A. Malaria Elimination Research Alliance. Option B. MTB Elimination Research Alliance. Option C. Measles Elimination Research Alliance. Option D. Mad Cow Disease Elimination Research Alliance. The correct answer is Option A. Malaria Elimination Research Alliance. The Mera India does not intend to duplicate international efforts, rather, complement this on a national scale while contributing to the broader global agenda. Question number 10 Global Talent Competitiveness Index. GTCI, sometimes seen in the news, was launched in Option A, 2012, Option B, 2013, Option C, 2014, Option D, 2015. The correct answer is Option B, 2013. The report covers 125 economies and 114 cities. It is based on research conducted by INSET in partnership with the ADECO Group and Tata Communications. Question number 11. Which nation has taken a first step toward extending protections for giraffes under the Endangered Species Act? Option A. China. Option B. US. Option C. Russia. Option D. France. The correct answer is Option B. U.S. After legal pressure from environmental groups, USA has taken a first step toward extending protections for giraffes under the Endangered Species Act. It is worth mentioning that the wild giraffe population in African continent has declined by nearly 40% in just 30 years. Question number 12. Fifth Asia-Pacific Broadcasting Union, ABU, Media Summit on Climate Action and Disaster Preparedness began in which among the following nations recently? Option A. Nepal. Option B. Afghanistan. Option C. India. Option D. China. The correct answer is Option A. Nepal. It is being held in Kathmandu. The theme of the, the summit is media solutions for sustainable future, saving lives, building resilient communities. Question number 13. Who was recently appointed as a new member of the in-house inquiry panel set up to examine the allegations of sexual harassment against CJI? Option A. Indu Malhotra. Option B. Deepak Mishra. Option C. Arun Jaitley. Option D. Kapil Sibbal.
द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए इंदु मल्होत्रा द थ्री मेंबर कमिटी इज हेडेड बाय जस्टिस एस ए बोबदे इट इज वर्थ मैंशनिंग दैट द कंप्लेनेंट यूज टू वर्क एज ए जूनियर कोर्ट असिस्टेंट ऑन नाइनटीन अप्रैल शी रोड टू ट्वेंटी टू ऑफ इट्स जजेज alleging that gogoi had made sexual advances on her at his residence office in october question number 14 defense secretary hema siri fernando of which among the following countries resigned recently option a south africa option b myanmar option c pakistan option d sri lanka The correct answer is option D Sri Lanka over security failures that led to the deadly Easter bombings Fernando submitted his letter of resignation to head of state Maitri Pala Sirena Question number 15 Hope Mars mission sometimes seen in the news is a mission to Mars being built by option A India option B UAE option C Israel Option D Nepal The correct answer is Option B UAE It is scheduled to be launched in July 2020 UAE is likely to become the first Arabic nation to make the Mars mission dream a reality with this launch MBRC have announced that 85% of the Hope probe project has been completed Question number 16 NASA's which of the following program has recorded mass quake on planet Mars Option A Discovery program Option B Mars program Option C Origin program Option D Seeker program The correct answer is Option A Discovery program NASA's Mars Lander in sight has recorded its first Mars quake. It has recorded a quake of 2 or 2.5 magnitude which is hard to predict on Earth's surface. In sight is part of NASA's Discovery program managed by the agency's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Question number 17. Rabindranath Tagore Literary Prize 2019 was given to whom among the following writers? Option A Anita Desai Option B Kiran Desai Option C Jhumpala Hiri Option D Rana Das Gupta The correct answer is Option D Rana Das Gupta The second edition of Rabindranath Tagore Literary Prize was awarded to author Rana Das Gupta for his 2010 novel Solo A Tale of Estrangement and the Ultimate Failure of Material Existence. Question number 18. World Immunization Week is observed annually in the last week of Option A. May. Option B. June. Option C. July. Option D. April. The correct answer is Option D. April to promote the importance of vaccination and immunization the world celebrates world immunization week initiated by the efforts of world health organization the immunization awareness week 2019 will be celebrated this year between april 24th and april 30th question number 19 india will stop importing oil from which of the following country under usa pressure option a iraq option b saudi arabia option c iran option d mexico the correct answer is option c iran in the backdrop of the us refusal to extend the sanctions waiver for india to import crude from iran The Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas has taken the necessary steps to fill the shortfall even though India has urged the US to restore the sanction waivers it has decided to not to proceed with the purchase as the oil trade cannot happen in anticipation Question number 20
World Malaria Day is globally observed on which of the following day? Option A. The 24th of April. Option B. The 25th of April. Option C. The 24th of May. Option D. The 25th of June. The correct answer is Option B. The 25th of April. World Malaria Day is observed globally on the 25th of April to recognize and celebrate worldwide efforts to control and raise awareness about malaria. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.